I found the perfect uh, situation where I can describe the difference between a slippery elm and an American elm because they're right next to each other. So let me show you. If you've ever wondered about this distinction, you've probably heard of the bark trick, which is to pull off a piece of bark and then look at the color. And basically on an American elm, when you take off a piece, it will have a brown layer and a cream colored layer and then a brown layer and kind of have that Oreo pattern. Whereas on the slippery elm, it would just be a dark brown. But I don't like to pull off the bark if I don't have to because these trees are already going through a lot with the Dutch elms disease. So this is a slippery elm and they have the same leaf structure where it's alternate and they've got double serrations. So their leaves have serrated edges, but they're like big tooth, little tooth, big tooth, little tooth. And the slippery elm bark is these overlapping fissures, but it's a lot more orderly than the American elm's bark. See, the American elm has more patchy, um, I call it almost like bubbles overlapping each other, all these oval shapes like a collage. And just looking at the two, you can see how much more orderly this bark is versus this is a bit chaotic, especially as you get down to the base, you can see that more bubbly pattern that's real patchy. So it's not in those straight lines so much like, uh, like the slippery elm. Now, perhaps the easiest way to tell the difference is if the leaves are out and you can reach them. The slippery elm has the biggest leaves and they're a lot more coarse in texture. Um, here's actually a couple that I can show you. So these are very large and you can hear that sound. Uh, also, it'll it'll stick to your shirt because it's so hairy and coarse. Whereas with the American elm, which they have the same shaped leaf, but it'll just be a lot smaller. And in the winter time, a way you can tell the difference is by looking at the ground and the slippery elms leaves actually uh, stay pretty well preserved and turn this chocolate brown color and um, the American elm leaf will not stay as well preserved and it'll be a lighter color than this dark, dark brown. And my favorite way to tell the difference is once the leaves are out and you have that option to look at the back side and slippery elms will be forked on their veins a lot like you're seeing here whereas with an elm an american elm sorry let's look at these babies and i'll show you they rarely fork on the back side so we've got this fork here and that fork And then I don't even see any forks there. So now I've got the two leaves side by side. Um, here's the slippery elm and here's the American elm. So you can see the difference in the forking of the veins. Slippery elm forks a lot. The American elm rarely forks. We've got one fork, maybe technically two. This one kind of forks. Um, the size is different. These are larger. Now let's turn them over. You can really see the difference in texture on this side. So this, you can hear how hairy it is and kind of tacky that way. This one, the American Elm, has a sheen to it almost. So the texture is a really good indicator of the difference between these two species. Slippery Elm, American Elm. In conclusion, American Elm has chaotic bark it be splotchy, less forking on the back of the leaves, and the leaves are smaller. The slippery elm has more orderly bark. It's got those um, layered fissures, uh, and it's got more forking on the back side of the leaves, on the veins, and the leaves are much larger. They're the, the largest of the elm that we have around here. 
and the leaves are really textured.